woman is behind bars after admitting to smothering a terminally ill boyfriend with a pillow because she was disgusted with having to care for him as he lay dying of cancer. Authorities said that 69-year-old Margaret Keone admitted to suffocating her boyfriend of 15 years, 72-year-old Gary Polony with a pillow on the 20th of December, at the home at 7516 Sheldrake Street in Newport, Ritchie, Florida. Margaret left the body of Gary, who was under hospice care for rectal cancer, to be discovered by nurses the following morning on the 21st of December. Deputies with the Pasco County Sheriff's Office were called to the scene and observed that the man had no concerning injuries and initially believed he died in his sleep. Later that day, however, authorities received a call from a witness who met with investigators and told them that she was a friend of Margaret's for over 30 years. The friend said that within the last few days of Gary's life, Margaret expressed disgust when it came to taking care of Gary because he was defecating himself due to his illness. Investigators said that Margaret's friend told them that Margaret did not clean Gary and would wait for a hospice worker or home health care nurse to visit and clean him. Margaret's friend told authorities that she received a call from Margaret at 10.30pm on the 20th of December, where Margaret told her that she had smothered Gary with a pillow and that he was gone. Margaret then told her friend that she planned to cover her dead boyfriend with a blanket so that when the nurse came the next day, she would assume he died in his sleep. During a controlled phone call between Margaret and her friend the following day, Margaret was quoted as saying she felt better about the situation and confirmed using the pillow to smother her boyfriend. When interviewed by detectives, Margaret confessed to killing her boyfriend by pressing a pillow into his face for five minutes after he called her into the bedroom complaining of pain. Margaret said that her boyfriend was alive and alert before she smothered him and was no longer breathing after she removed the pillow from his face. Margaret told the investigators that her decision to kill Gary was to prevent him from being in any further pain. She also admitted to intentionally over-medicating Gary with liquid morphine to help with his pain. After suffocating him, Margaret spent the night on the couch and when the nurse came the following day, she believed that her boyfriend died of natural causes in his sleep. On Tuesday the 2nd of January, Margaret was arrested and charged with first degree murder. She's held at the Pasco County Jail with bond set at $250,000. The investigation into the matter continues. 32-year-old Tatum Hatch, a former teacher at West Monroe High School in Louisiana, is accused of having an improper relationship with a 15-year-old male student. On Wednesday the 3rd of January 2024, Tatum was arrested following an investigation that began on the 15th of December 2023, after the student told his father about the illicit relationship, and the father then contacted police. The father told investigators that his son showed him Instagram messages that the two had been exchanging, and that the relationship had been going on for about a year and a half. Deputies met with the teen victim and monitored his cell phone, finding Instagram messages between them that spanned over several months. In one of their conversations, Tatum told the child that she wanted them to have sex, telling him that he could go through her bedroom window. She said she believed it was safer for him to come to her house, rather than meeting at his home. She then asked the boy if he liked to be rough or gentle with her, with the boy responding by asking her what she wants. Tatum then replies that she doesn't know, but she's thought about it. The boy told Tatum that he was scared, and Tatum responded by saying that she was scared too and that she was worried he would find another person to take his virginity. Investigators said that Tatum drove to the boy's home late one night, and he entered her car at the end of his driveway, where she touched his genitals with her infant child in the car. Tatum sent naked selfies to the boy in what's known as vanish mode, where pictures eventually disappear. Authorities said they were able to recover a nude photo of Tatum on the victim's phone, after a forensic download was completed. Another one of their conversations took place at a school function after dismissal, where Tatum tried to get the boy to sit with her. On the 16th of December, police took Tatum in for questioning. Tatum refused to answer several questions about what she sent to the teen, fearing she would lose the children. She did, however, admit to talking to the boy via Instagram messages. Authorities later discovered that Tatum gave the boy between $500 and $600 after she became afraid of the victim because of a rumor she heard about him, and that is why she gave him money. Tatum resigned from a job at West Monroe High School on the 26th of December, after earlier being placed on administrative leave on the 15th of December. On Wednesday the 3rd of January, Tatum was booked into the Washita Parish Sheriff's Office Jail and was charged with computer-aided solicitation of a minor, but was released the next day after posting a $10,000 bond. The investigation into the matter continues. <laughs> 